would like to briefly take a moment and say thank you to everyone who has continued to join us over the Florida Maquis Patreon channel. The Holy Bible teaches us, Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. If you'd like to join us over there, it's only one U.S. dollar per month at the base level, and even less than that if you sign up for an entire year, and no matter what level you choose, it's fully refundable. First 90 days, no questions asked. What's the difference between YouTube and Patreon? At Patreon, we can take the gloves off. There are no censors. We have, of course, the Patreon firewall, and then we also have Vimeo that we're partnering with, and that gives us one extra layer of protection where we can speak our minds and we can take advantage of rights that we used to enjoy in this country freely. Would love to have you over there. There are hundreds of exclusive videos never before seen here on YouTube. Please, if you have the ability, would love to have you over there. You won't regret it. God bless all of you, and thank you so much. The stories of the Knights Templar and the mysterious goings-on under the ice in Antarctica are not two ideas that one would naturally tie together. But in today's video, I'm going to show you some evidence that makes me believe that the Knights Templar knew of Antarctica, and they went there. Whether they're still there or not, or their descendants, that's hard to say, but it sure would explain a lot. The image that I have up before you is, of course, in the lower right, a historical image of a Knights Templar. In the upper left is the Perry Reese map, which, to this day, science still can't explain. And, of course, in the background is an artist's rendering of what caverns under Antarctica might look like. The Perry Reese map, according to science, shouldn't exist. Because at the time it was made, they say Antarctica was covered with a giant sheet of ice, yet it shows the coastline of Antarctica in incredible detail. Not the coastline of the ice, the coastline of the land. And this is a very, very old map, 1519, I believe. Now, the Knights Templar predated that, but you would have to imagine if they had the knowledge to build this map or create this map at the time, it might have even predated them. And just to clarify about the caverns in Antarctica being able to support life, that's not my allegation. That's science's allegation. In fact, here are two articles, very recently, that have been published regarding this. This is 31 January 2019. Avery Thompson, popular mechanics, NASA found a giant underground cavern in Antarctica, almost the size of Manhattan. And then two years prior, Business Insider released this story. Scientists are closing in on warm caves under Antarctica, which could support secret life. Saying that they are so warm, they could support animals and plants. So the idea of life under the ice sheet isn't something out of science fiction. It's real. It's just a matter of finding it. Now, consider, if you are going to hide something, something incredibly precious, that you could not risk falling into the hands of those who would do ill with it, and you knew of a place like this, so far away that very few even knew of its existence, and maybe there might be in the entire world only one map of it. Just the location, not of what you would find when you got there. an area so remote and cavernous and treacherous that even the most intrepid explorer wouldn't risk following you there. What got me started on this investigation was two days ago. There was an earthquake on the very, very tip of Antarctica, 5.4. Not a big earthquake, but big enough that it would make you think that something very different was going on down there than what they're telling us. And the reason I say that 
is that there are quakes on that ice sheet all the time, but it's the ice moving. This was something very different. So I started to look into the history of earthquakes in the region, and this is something new even for science. This is Peter Dockrell from Science Alert. Antarctica is being rumbled by hidden earthquakes we never even knew existed. And then this is from Daily Galaxy. NASA unveiled massive gravity anomaly buried under Antarctica. And I will, of course, give you links to all of these articles, and you can read them for yourself. But I'm just showing you the path that I went down to tie this to the Knights Templar. Now, mysterious crater in Antarctica has ominous cause. Now, here's where things get a little bit strange. They have this thing down there called a, it's a French word, moulin, M-O-U-L-I-N. Basically, it's a giant hole in the ice that looks like a crater that has appeared. And meltwater, and I mean an epic amount of meltwater, is swirling into this thing. And it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. What it reveals is that below there is a giant empty cavern receiving this water that they did not know about. Now, I pulled up some images real quick to show you. Here's the river leading to it. Here's the giant epic waterfall of water and ice that's falling down into this ice sheet in eastern Antarctica. That's another view looking straight down. And here's a couple of scientists approaching one small corner of it. Now, where it is located is a place called the Bauduin Ice Sheet. And this is what it looks like from underneath. What you're looking at above here is the surface of the ice, giant gap, and then a humongous lake underneath. Huge gap, gigantic gap. Now, this Bauduin Ice Sheet, let's go to Google Earth Pro real quick and take a look at something. We have found all sorts of stuff in this region. This particular location is the ice sheet. Now, Google Earth Pro has actually revealed some new things lately. They've updated, and one of the new ones that I wanted to show you that's kind of tangentially tied to this is this 50-kilometer-long straight line in the snow that is inexplicable right by it. I've made allegation there's a great deal of activity going on down here underneath the ice. But it's that name, Bauduin. B-O-U-D-O-I-N, I believe. Named after a king. But not just any king. See, this whole area right here is named after this king. Wait until you hear the story of this king. King Baudouin of Belgium, I think I misspelled his name, B-A-U-D-O-U-I-N, pardon me, may have been the last living Knights Templar. It seems as if they have been passing this order down for a lot longer time than what we thought. Because he was the recipient of something called the Holy Order of the Cross. Now, he was king, he was only a child during World War II, and died in 1993. But he was so important to the royalty of Europe that the only funeral attended by Queen Elizabeth herself in person was his. And I just want to cover this real quick. I thought it was absolutely astounding. Within hours of his death, the royal palace gates and enclosure were covered with flowers that people brought spontaneously. A viewing of the body was held at the royal palace in central Brussels. Half a million people, 5% of the population, came to pay their respects. Many waited in line up to 14 hours in sweltering heat to see their king one last time along with other members of European royalty. Queen Elizabeth II of the United Kingdom, and that's her, 
and the other Commonwealth realms attended the funeral, the only foreign state funeral ever attended by her in person as monarch was this man, this King Baudouin. And he was a recipient of this thing called the Supreme Order of Christ. Now, when you look at the image of the Supreme Order of Christ very closely, what do you see? This order, in its imagery, looks exactly like, exactly like a snow crystal. I don't think this was done by accident. I truly don't. Why this would have eight points, anyone who knows anything about Bible numerology can tell you the significance of the eight points. If you had to hide something, very important, and keep it secure, a great place to hide it would be some place that the vast majority of the world didn't even know existed. And even if they could find the place, the continent itself, it's bigger than all of Europe and completely unmapped. And to this day, to this day, world leaders from all over the world go down there. They don't say what they do down there, but they go down there. It has to make you wonder. This area where this giant cavern has been found, this huge lake, this King Baudouin ice sheet, may have some very, very um, high level of significance. And that it's not just an accident. And if anyone would attempt to go down there to do any private research, they might meet a very um, horrible end. I thought it was very ironic, too, that on this representation of this Knights Templar, that there is also an eight-pointed cross, not or part of the eight-pointed star, on the tip of the helmet. Why would they name it King Baudouin Ice Sheet? Why would they do that? This is the King Baudouin Ice Sheet. Some of the things that we found here, and I'll leave you with this. A long time ago, one of the first things that I discovered were these strange, what looked like cables, um, lines in the imagery. And many people thought, oh, that's just some kind of a anomaly with the uh, satellite. We found so many of them that it couldn't possibly be. Now, this particular one, I found correlated to something on the surface. Here's one of these lines. And there is some type of a building or a structure right here that it goes into. Now, here's the kicker. I'm going to draw this line with you. If we draw this line, and all of these lines run almost perfectly, uh, 0, 180, or 9270, this one runs perfectly zero degrees. If you draw it out to its natural end from that location, at zero degrees, it takes you literally right to this place, this King Baudouin ice sheet. There's something very strange going on in Antarctica, and it may have historical significance. If you were going to hide something that you did not want anybody to find and you wanted to make sure that there was be, there would be no way, no way at all, anyone could get there, you would act exactly like world governments are acting regarding Antarctica. This is exactly what you would do. This tie-in with King Baudouin, 
being the last recipient of this uh, supreme order. I want to get this right again. Um, supreme order of Christ. The tie into the Knights Templar is that it owes its origins to the same order of Christ of the Knights Templar from which came the order of Christ. Strangely enough, awarded by the kings of Portugal, pardon me, kings of Portugal and the emperors of Brazil, both of their coats of arms, both of their coats of arms have two dragons on either side. And one of them, the kings of Portugal, the flag is very reminiscent of the flags that we saw drawn on maps down in Tierra del Fuego. The 5x5 five five dice sided map, or pardon me, flags that we saw in other videos. There's definitely, definitely a connection between this Supreme Order of Christ, the Knights Templar, King Baudouin, and Antarctica. I don't have all of the pieces yet, but I think this is a smoking gun of what may be down there and what they have known is down there for a long time. And it may be the reason so much effort was put down there by the Germans in the 1940s that they knew it too, that it was the last place the Templars went. And I'll leave it there. Like, share, subscribe. Would like to briefly take a moment and say thank you to everyone who has continued to join us over the Florida Maquis Patreon channel. The Holy Bible teaches us, Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. If you'd like to join us over there, it's only one U.S. dollar per month at the base level, and even less than that if you sign up for an entire year, and no matter what level you choose, it's fully refundable. First 90 days, no questions asked. What's the difference between YouTube and Patreon? At Patreon, we can take the gloves off. There are no censors. We have, of course, the Patreon firewall, and then we also have Vimeo that we're partnering with, and that gives us one extra layer of protection where we can speak our minds and we can take advantage of rights that we used to enjoy in this country freely. Would love to have you over there. There are hundreds of exclusive videos never before seen here on YouTube. Please, if you have the ability, would love to have you over there. You won't regret it. God bless all of you, and thank you so much.